What it do, man? It's the Kid Kid, Double MG Zone, Fat Trail. Right now, you locked in with my brothers, man. Hip Hop since 1987. Gang. Shout my hip hop since 1987, It's your boy E Money, great friend to the site, my man yeah. Fat Trail. What up, what up, my squad. brother? How you? I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Back in the city, little brotherly love. Man. Yeah, well, what brings you back to Philly? We here, Philly. What um, you, you know, no, 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 not, not really a tour. I just everybody keep asking me. I, I just did um, a few shows. We here, Ohio, Miami, and Atlanta. And, um, now we doing Philly. I think Richmond, but it's not a tour though. We just. We just coming back to the streets, touching the people. You know, I'm about to drop my little rush on, on Christmas. So, you know, we back in the streets and we just coming to see new artists too, man. It's a couple of new artists from DC on the build at the Philly show tonight and, and, and some um, art, new artists from Philly on the show. Okay. So, okay. Um, you know, new faces, new music, networking. You know, we on our Diddy shit, man. We trying to yeah, yeah. keep the train rolling. So I like to hear, it seemed like you was on vacation for a little minute. I know you dropped the Georgetown project, yeah. but after that Glee shit was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what's going on? Like you man. said, that mother Russia coming. What was you What was you doing in between that time? Like, um, Just, you know, building, man. Just building the empire, man, at the same time. You know, taking care of the family, man, paying bills and shit, you know how that go. So you just had a, so, had um, a little one, right? Yeah, yeah, I just had a son in that, LA. Yeah. Shout out to um, my son, Bricks, man. Um, but you know, just taking care of the family, man, paying bills and just staying out these crackers' way, man. They trying to lock niggas up, man. They giving niggas the years, man. So we trying to stay out their way, stay in the streets, you know? I can dig it. Yeah. Now, do you feel like it hurt you taking that break after having the momentum you had with that Gleesh mixtape? Um, nah, man. That was I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't never feel like anything hurt my career, you know? You I'm real big on focusing on the positives and never really shed light on the negatives, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm real big on um, focusing on the fan base that I do have and, and, and the people yeah. that do support me, and I don't never really pay attention to, to what looks I don't get and, and what don't happen yeah. for me because, you know, Every decision is in, is in God's hand, you know. We just wake up and play out the day. Only He know how it's really gonna go. So I'm really focused on what I don't have or the looks I don't get or, or you know, nothing never hurts me. You know, the train's still rolling. We still making money, hella money. So there you, go. you know, yeah. Glass half full, not mm -hmm. empty. All right. So Mother Russia. Yeah. Tell us about it. You just dropped that. Is it over, yeah, right? Yeah, here? yeah. We just leaked. Is it over? Yeah. Yesterday. So give us the rundown of the project. Um, Mother Russia is like, man, it's it's back it's back to like my April Fools type style shit, you know, just um real trapped out, real loud, real, you know, real crazy, man, blowing out the speakers and just smoking dope and fucking hoes and popping bottles and rubber bands and strippers and you know, the usual man, the lifestyle. We just bringing it back to the trap, all the way back to the trap with this. All right, now yeah. give us the rundown. Producers, features. Um, what's the I got next a lot after of, it is over? I got a lot of new um producers on this tape, man. I got Lions Lee. He produced like four or five records on there. Hollywood Bangers. He produced a lot of records on there. My man JD on the track from Brazil. I ain't even met him yet. Like we ain't even even had a, a, a studio session together yet. He's still working on this shit, so he could come to America. But um, JD got a lot of tracks on there. JD on the track, Hollywood Bangers, Lions Lee. Um, who else we got on there? We got a lot of people on there, man. It's, it's some bangers and that. Of course, you know I got my brother P Wild on there. I got um, uh, Uchi on there. The Slutty Boys on there. Um, phones, free my nigga phones, man. He locked up right now. Phones on there. Um, and a couple, of, a lot, a lot of uh, surprises, man. A couple okay. special okay. guys, you know. And of course, the squad gonna be on there too. But you know, Double G, so it's it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be a real, a well put together project. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta ask you, cause a lot of people ask us, mm -hmm. are you still with MMG and what's the status? Oh yeah. Get a cool. rundown. And what's cool. your relationship like with the team? Man, I just ate Thanksgiving with Ross for the second year straight. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandma was mad as shit. I told her I was coming, and then we got booked late on Thanksgiving. And um, I was just with Ross, man. We just, we just, um, he he came to my show. Him and Adrian Bronner, 
They came out. Gunplay That's came it. out to the show. Yeah. Um, 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 who else came out? Um, Gorilla Zo came out. Uh, uh, what's my man's name? Flo Rida came out. K Cutter came out. Yeah. Young Breed came out. Keesy came out. It was love, man. You know, WMG for life, man. You already know that. All right, now, what's your relationship like with the rest of the team? Can we expect to hear some records with you and the rest of the um, team? Um, yeah, 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 man. You know, upcoming records. I got a lot of records that that was been supposed to be released. Tuck, yeah, 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 yeah. That, but I mean, if it was up to me, I would have been leaked. You know, me, I'm leaking shorty. I would have been leaked the records. But um, you know, I try to play fair. And, you know, try to show the name as reckless as I used to be, and I, I you know. I'm just waiting on their word, man. I got a lot of work with the team that should be dropping. All right, yeah. all right. For those who don't know, how did you get down with MMG? Like, a lot of people know you cool with Wale, they yeah, yeah. introduce you, like, yeah, what yeah. was the situation? Yeah, you know, Wale, my brother, man. And um, we went on tour. No, he went on tour. I went with him. And um, we did a show. We did shows in Denver. That's when he was doing all them summer jam shows, all mm -hmm. of them, in every city. I went out there and I did all of them with him. And then, um, one day, early in the morning on the bus, like while we going to the next city, he just called me and was like, called me in the back and was like, yo, somebody want to holler at you. And it was Ross. So I'm talking to Ross for a little bit. And he was like, um, yeah, when, 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 when Wale finished with the tour, just come to Miami and check right. it out. We just chop it up, you know, and just kick the shit in and hopefully get some work in. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. Went to Miami. As soon as I walked in the house, he gave me a Rolex, like, welcome to the team. I'm like, damn, Wale well, ain't even tell me, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, wanted to bring you in. <clears> yeah, it was up. a good look. Me and Tracy got signed the same day. Tracy T was there when I had got there, and um, it was a total <sighs> surprise. It was like one of the best days of my life. That's what's up, that's what's up. Do you ever have any regrets with you having the success you had independently? Is there anything you wish you could have, you know? Um. Nah, man. Nah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm real big on no regrets, man. That's, so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really have no regrets, man. I thank, I thank God for everything I got, you know, and, and the fact that we still out here in the streets. Right, I done man. lost a lot of niggas to the jail, and a lot of niggas didn't die. So, like, I'm blessed, man. No regrets at all, man. Even when shit looking bad, even when the, even when the money slow up, cause money slow up too. Everything yeah. slows up. Even when the money slow up, I don't regret nothing. You know, we just be patient and we count our blessings if we keep working. There you go. Yeah. Now I heard there's a self-made project in the works. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Can we expect to hear you on there? What can we expect from the project? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. They always hit me up. Um, Sab, shout out to Sab. Sab always hit me up like, yo, boy, send us some records for that self-made four, boy. You know, and we just wind up keep leaking them. But, um, you know, Ross about to drop that black market, man, and after that, I think we're gonna get yeah. go. I'm gonna go back down Miami and um, start back like, working on that self made for with him. And um, <clears throat> you know everybody sending they sending they work in Stylie, Rocky. Everybody sending they working from all over. So okay. it's gonna come together. The big homie had a, a better announcement than I could give you about self made for. You heard that new rap, uh, Ross project already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there when he was mixing it. So like I said, what we you um, think? What you think? he leaked it on Thanksgiving. So. I yeah. was in the house with him. When, yeah. um, he went crazy, man. The creative process to it was 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 genius. Um, the freestyle to uh, in the club over the fifty record was yeah. genius. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was just genius, man. You know, at the end of the day, Ross is my favorite rapper. Long before I got signed to MMG, that's a fact. Everybody know that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I'm a fan first, and now that it's the homie, and I got to what sit back and watch him do it. So it was it was a, it was a beautiful film, and I, pre I, I appreciate him. Um, for showing me that. That's what's up. Yeah. Now, can we expect to hear another record with you and Chief Keith? I remember the first time I heard you was on that Russian yeah, Roulette yeah, record. Yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, shout out to Sosa, man. I was just with him, man, when he was on this little tour. always out of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Now nah, we was in Richmond, though, when I was mm -hmm. with Link with him. But, um, yeah, I got to go out to L.A., man. When I go out there, I let my son and shit. I'm going to go fuck with him, man, you know. Bro, special ed though, you know. Yeah. He might have a week where he just studio crazy, and one week he just playing that motherfucking Xbox. Yeah. Next week he driving his car every day, all day, smoking weed all day. So you know, you gotta catch bro when he when he, he right time. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. He yeah. bipolar, motherfucker. He shorty retarded, man. You know. Shout out my nigga Sosa though, man. Shout out Fredo, whole SSI, man, whole Grow Game, man. Rest in peace, my nigga Cap too. There you go. Yeah, R.I.P. the homie Cap. Yeah. Um, what's next for Fat Trial? 
what's next for Slutty Boys, and if you can give us a rundown of the roster, who's in Slutty Boys? Um, well, first of all, what's next for me is that uh, Mother Russia. Name. Of course, that, that yeah, Mother yeah, Russia. Yeah, After yeah. the project, like, what else do you have in the project? Um, well, the label, to be honest, the label was talking to my manager, Debo, about um, me starting on the album, man. So hopefully mm. they open that budget up and I get to go to L.A. and, and put my creative thoughts together in one batch and then hand them over a list of things that I would like to see happen for the album. Hopefully we get to working on that. I still don't have a name for my first album. Um, but hopefully that's the next big thing. Because, yeah. you know, after Mother Russia, we're going... Mother Russia gonna go crazy, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to drop. I got an all girls album too, like with all girls songs on the R and B, rhythm and bitches. You know, we gonna call it L A X, which stands for Love, Activism, Ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel real good about that tape, but you know, I love the bitches. So, but they can wait though. I'm gonna drop Mother Russia on them, and then hopefully they let me work on this album. If they, if 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 if, if the process to working on the album take long, then I'm gonna try to drop that L A X. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. right after that. But I really, I'm excited about working on the album. I used to be scared. I used to be scared to bring it up or to hear the label talk about it. But now I'm excited. I'm ready to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully the album is the next. And um, all the Slutty Boys is, it's me, of course. Uh, P. Wow, Do Baby, Booster the Shooter, Phones, Free My Nigga Phones, man. He in right now. Um, Chris Bow, my brother Chris Bow just came to my house early this morning, woke me up on my motherfucking sleep. Shout out Chris Bow. Young Mo, he hustling, man. He yeah. one he one of the hardest working artists Shout I got. Young Mo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he go hard, man. He work like no other. Um <clears throat> Who else, man? Shit, last time I seen Mo, he Gucci. was in New York handing out CDs. Yeah, said, yeah. Hey, I'll be back. I'm about to go past my CD. Yeah, yeah, he hustled. He hustled hard. Young Mo, yeah. He hustled hard. Um, Uchi. One of the one of the low key most talented um, slutty boys, man, Uchi, my little brother, man, he from Forty Nine for calls. It's Team No Feet. Shout out my nigga Watt, man, Uchi, and um, oh yeah, Michi, Michi, yeah, Michi, man, Mr. Racks, Big Racks, man. He want I gotta get Michi off the block, man. Michi is a block hugger, man. Michi want to be on the block all day, all night, man. Like he go to the studio maybe three hours out of. 72 hours that's not good you know yeah yeah so um but you know a man loves what he loves and, and like i said we still out here counting our blessings at the end of the day i try yeah. not to force anything on any of my niggas because i know times is hard and, you yeah, know yeah, you it's stressful it, yeah. you know and, and music is important don't get me wrong but like life and family is important too yeah and um i, I can't stress that enough you know i'm pretty sure y'all know man we got hella kids bro yeah, so yeah. you know <laughs> Them motherfuckers eat, man. Yeah, they can yeah. eat, man. We ain't used to eat like that when we was little, man. So, you know. Gotta make sure things straight. Yeah, man. everything straight, man. Shout out to the whole family, man. The whole mob, double MG, slutty boys, you only know what to do. All right, now I gotta ask you about the, the music scene in DC, man. For yeah. a while now, the only faces have been you, mm -hmm. Wale, mm -hmm. Glizzy. Mm -hmm. You had a few, like Phil I Day, light show, mm -hmm. you know, but for the most part, it's been y'all three. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on the DC slash DMV music scene? Um, I love it, man. I love what it's become. Um, I love how motivated the rest of the DMV is, you know. I love how it's artists coming out of the woodworks and everybody working hard, you know. I go to my studio and I try to get studio time and it's, and it's, it's booked up from mm -hmm. paid people who paying, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So they like, man, we need the money. I'm like, damn. I remember when I used to go record for four days straight, yeah. straight. Yeah. Now I got to share, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. So I just started um, building a studio in the basement of my house, man. So, um, but I love the DMV music scene, man. I love what it's becoming. Uh, shout out to everybody in the DMV music scene, man. I, ho I hope they all prosper. I hope they all get money, everybody, all the way around the board. There's enough money out here for everybody. There you go. Yeah. All right, well, is there anything you'd like to leave us with before we get out of here? Mother Russia, man. 12, 25, 15. Coming out crazy. Going down man. here, man. That shit gonna be crazy. Make sure y'all go check out Is It Over on Hip Hop Since 1987 website. We yes, just need that, man. Yes, sir. Exclusively. Um, I think Hip Hop Since 1987 gonna come do a day in D.C. with me. Right, and just know. vibe out, go to the hood, pull up at my mama house, get a plate. You know what I'm saying? All that shit, man. We just gonna vibe out and just... What's your mom's you know? best dish, man? 
my mom's best dish. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say that macaroni and cheese with the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna have to make sure she had that mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the mashed potatoes, man. I don't know if y'all eat pork, man. I love pork chop. My mother makes the best pork chop. With the mac and cheese, with the mashed potatoes, it's the best, man. All right, that's what it is. Shout out to mom, man. Big Pam, she already know what's up. All right. Yeah. Shout out to Philly, too, man. Appreciate the love, all the love that Philly ever gave me. Pennsylvania, period, man. Shout out to Philly, man. We're gonna go crazy tonight, you already know. You already know. Make sure Christmas Day, that gift, Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Grab up. Look forward to that day in DC with my man Fat Trial. We signing out with hip hop since 1987.com. Okay. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. The key of the whole thing is being in the conversation, you know what I mean? It's a million rappers, the, the list of rappers go f from here to the end of the world and so many of them are in nobody's top five, mm -hmm. or ten, or twenty.